So today we're going to look at the newest addition to the Amazon Echo family, which is the Echo Spot. Um, this is a cool little device. It is uh, about the size of a baseball. Um, of course, it comes with Madam A integrated, and it's also got a video camera um, as well as a video display. So unlike the Echo... Um, the traditional Echo, Echo Plus, Echo Dot, there is a video display on this. So this is kind of like the little brother to the Echo Show. Let's take a look. So here it is, the Echo Spot. Uh, fairly small box, but it's a it's an Amazon product, so you've got that, that blue there. Um, you can see here it is the video. Um, you can listen to music on it. It's, a, it's an Amazon Echo device. Um, I think we're pretty aware of what that does. We can play music, Spotify, Arlo Smart Home Skills, um, Philips Hue. Again, it integrates into a ton, I've heard, of 10,000 plus Amazon skills at this point. Now, obviously, that's going to very much depend on where you live. For instance, the Echo Spot is not currently available in Canada, where I live. So I actually had to order this in special and have someone ship this up to me, um, which means that some of the Amazon skills are not available. So that's something to be aware of. Um, specifically, the Amazon Spot and the Amazon Echo are not available. So any of the video-related skills, um, things like the uh, Ring doorbell integration, just simply don't work. It just says it's not video is not available on this device. So we open up the box here, you can see um, we've got the spot itself. You've got, of course, all the instructions, um, examples of what you can say to Madam A. Here we go. Um, one thing I, I do like, a small detail, but it's got a really good rubber band here. This thing is really, really well put together. I like the attention to detail, the attention to the packaging. Um, so we're going to plug this guy in. So we've got the, um, the power adapter as well as an eighth, inch, an eighth inch adapter so that you are able to take your Echo Spot and if you so desire, plug this directly into your sound system, um, existing speakers, which is kind of cool. So it's going to go through this initial startup process here. And we can see it says Echo there on the screen. So this is doing the boot up. And Hello, what's kind of cool about this is, is you setup. actually don't need a PC to set this up or a phone. Um, we'll try to bring this closer. You guys can see this here. So right now it's asking me what language would I like to uh, have this in. So again, I'm my choices are English. Right. I'm going to connect this to my home network. I am not going to make you guys uh, watch my password. So we'll do this real quick and flip back over. So it was actually really, really painless. The keyboard is pretty small, but you're only going to be uh, typing in on this pretty much the one time um, as far as I've seen so far, um, except for, okay, we have to put our Amazon username and password in. So this is going to be the username and password that you use for the rest of your Madam A, your Echo devices. You put that in, you say, yep, that's me. And automatically, it found that I'm in Montreal. It allows me to use the uh, the username, um, the name of my Echo, and change this if I want to. And then it's going to check for latest software updates. So there we go. We have a new update available, and it asks me to install it now and, and warns me this could take about 10 minutes. As I install the updates, your Echo Spot will restart twice. And indeed, Madam A did not lie to us. My Echo Spot did reboot twice. So I'm going to do a little video magic here so you guys don't have to see that whole process happening. You're going to first see that this is going to go through an updating screen, and you're going to have a little bar go around, get to the end. The updating will complete itself, at which point the device should reboot. There we go. You can see the screen goes off. Amazon logo comes back on. The Echo logo shows up, and then you get this optimizing. And again, we're going to have that same bar that's going to go around, and this is going to be another four or five minutes, something like that. Um, this will go through, get to the end of the optimizing, and eventually we will be done. So as soon as the optimization is finished, we're going to check again for latest software updates. I'm back. I 
don't Let's foresee continue. that you should see this thing um, having multiple updates, but you never know, right? So the next thing we're going to do is we have the tutorial introducing the Echo Spot. So normally you would see this probably on your Amazon app, but this thing's got video, so you can actually Amazon hit the button Echo here Spot. and press play, at which case Echo we're going to be taken through the entire Amazon like introductory desk. video. Or so I'm going to skip over this so you guys don't have to watch it. Um, Alexa, you can definitely find this online, voice. so search that out Alexa, if you want to see it. What's go home. So the Echo Spot Enjoy is now set up, Echo which Spot. is awesome. Um, you can see here on the screen. We're now going to see the clock up here, loading, and there we go. So we've got the clock. So this is kind of one of the default faces that you can see Your here. This is a touch-sensitive screen, so we're going to actually be able to touch this and see that you've got more options. You can get the weather, so it'll show you the weather here, a, a balmy uh, negative 8 Celsius. And it gives us some options of what can you uh, do with your, your new Madam A device, right, which is kind of cool. Alexa, what's the weather outside? Currently, in Brosar, it's minus 8 degrees with snow. Today, you can expect cold temperatures with a high of 1 degree and a low of minus 13 degrees. So you can see Madame is doing exactly what she should be doing. And other than the fact that you have to have a wireless network and your Amazon account available, the entire setup was done completely on the Echo Spot, which is kind of cool, right? No PC, no phone necessary. So now we're going to flip over to the Amazon Alexa app and do a couple of the other steps. Um, just because I'm living in Canada, I want to make set this uh, the temperature to Celsius, use the metric system, all that good stuff. So we're going to click in the top left-hand corner and go over to settings. You can see here at the bottom, we've got the Christopher's Echo Spot, which was just set up. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, and I'm going to set my temperature units to metric and my distance units to metric as well, which is pretty important. I also have the ability to change my language, which uh, is going to affect how Alexa talks to you. You can set this to UK English. You can set this to um, United States English. It's kind of as you want. So I'm doing this on my iPad, so it's going to take me over to the the Apple Photos app and give me access to anything in my photo library. It's a very small video screen, so keep that in mind. Um, you can also go in and change your Alexa, uh, your, your keywords, to see what she's going to respond to. So you guys know I'm all about the smart home. I want to be able to access and control my house really, really easily. Um, Amazon has done a really cool thing here where you're going to take your device, in this case it's Christopher's Echo Spot, and we're going to put this directly into one of the groups called kitchen and what this allows me to do is since the echo spot knows it's in the kitchen and the other lights that are in the kitchen they know they're in the kitchen I'm gonna be able to put these things all together so when I say hey Madam A turn on the lights turn off the lights it actually knows that I'm talking about the kitchen lights since I'm probably in the kitchen right which is kind of cool we can turn them off or on from within the app um, of course, right? But that's one thing that's really nice. So you don't have to memorize all the different names of, of the rooms in your house like you would something like with Siri, for instance, right? Um, obviously, you're going to have to buy a an Echo or have one in every room wherever you're going to want that capability. But you also get multi-room audio, which it's actually kind of worth, worth it for me to do that. I, I do like the ability to have music streaming on all devices at the same time throughout the whole house. That's really cool. So you can see we're actually setting this up and putting the, um, the new Echo Spot into the Everywhere group as well. This is going to con connect all my Echoes together in the Everywhere group. I don't know exactly how Amazon does this, but I can tell you that it works, that I have not seen any lag between the different devices. They, they seem to play the music's in step. It's not noticeable from the upstairs to the downstairs. So uh, magic is what I call it at this point. I'm sure there's some um, audio engineering explanation that's a lot more technical than that, but magic works for me. Of course, we're going to connect all these, and then um, from here on out, you can just go in and you can add your skills and do whatever else you want. One quick note, as uh, viewers may be coming in from different country, realize that skills are not going to be equal in all countries. That's just the way things are. Amazon has specific content for specific countries that they choose to sell these devices in. So don't expect that uh, if I show you a skill or you see a skill online that it's going to be available in your country. 
Um, there's still a lot of work, I think, that Amazon has to do outside of the U.S. I think U.S., U.K., and Germany were their original launching countries. Um, we're going to catch up, I hope, quick in Canada and the other regions, but it is what it is. So be aware that um, you might not be able to get all the toys like all the, all the cool kids. So one of the last things that I wanted to go over quickly, which I think is a, a really nice to have here, is the ability to do video calling or um, audio calling directly from your Echo Spot. And that's as easy as um, drop into your own existing devices, which no one needs to pick up. You can just kind of use it as an intercom or as well, you can call anybody in your existing contacts. Um, I think free within North America. Um, definitely check that out with Amazon. So let's take a look at that. Alexa, drop in on Christopher's Echo Show. Audio is not bad, and it just kind of works, right? So obviously, um, right now, this is my master bedroom. If you put something like this, you know, the Echo in your um, master bedroom, you might want to make sure you turn the camera off. No one needs to see that. We can, of course, turn the video off. And close the call completely. Alexa, hang up. And that's basically it from there. Um, the possibilities with Amazon Skills are not quite endless, but there are a ton of possibilities, um, educational fun, um, productivity, you know, all that's in there. So definitely check those out. Um, and with that, you guys got any questions, comments, please post them below. Um, the, uh, the likes, the thumbs up is always a good thing. And if you guys enjoyed the Alexa videos, and you want to see more of that, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks.